What's up, 2J crew, and welcome back to Tech Tips with 2J. My name is Richard Clark, Technical Service Advisor with 2J University. Today, what we're going to go over is how to do a software update on an Econet smart thermostat right from the customer's home. Let's get into it. To get started with this process, we need to download one of the three available service apps. For today's process, we're going to go ahead and use the Root app. If you need to download any of these, just look at the description below. There's going to be links in there. Once this app opens up, you're going to notice my name's already at the top. That's simply because I'm already logged in. If you need a login and you don't have one, please request that through your 2J Supply Territory Manager, and they should be able to get that squared away for you. On the very first page of the app, like always, you're going to get three options. Install, service, and sell. We are servicing this piece of equipment currently. And then the next page, you're going to click on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi updates, because that's what we're in here doing today. You're going to get two options on this screen if you're logged in. If you're not logged in, it will not show thermostat update. So if you get to this screen and you don't see this tab, make sure you're logged in. We're going to go ahead and click on thermostat update. The very next screen is going to ask us for our MAC address of our thermostat. I'm going to show you how to get to this. It's super simple. You're just going to click on the top right hand corner of your thermostat on the Wi-Fi signal and it's going to bring you a page that shows your MAC address on it. You simply just have to type that in. You do not need to put any dashes in there it will automatically put them in for you. And once you're done putting that in there, you just simply hit continue, and it is gonna automatically bring you to a screen that's asking you for a picture of your thermostat showing the MAC address. So you click on that little camera button, it may ask you for permission. I'm gonna turn my flash off, and then I'm gonna slide right over here and take a quick picture of my thermostat. And once I've taken that picture, I can click on use photo, it's going to take me back to that main screen, and then we're going to click on Send Request. What this is doing is sending the request to the homeowner's app for them to approve whether or not we're allowed to update the thermostat over their internet. This screen is going to allow you to resend the request if for some reason they didn't get it. This update may take 10 minutes once you've approved it. So if I close out of here and I go to my homeowner app, because for today I am the homeowner, I go into the root Econet stat, and as soon as I open it, I've already accepted all the permissions. So it is going to immediately ask me, 2J Supply Dayton has requested to update your thermostat. Would you like to approve? The answer for this is obviously going to be accept. And once this process gets done, you're going to see this on your thermostat. As your thermostat screen is going to turn blue and show that it's updating. Once it runs through the entire update sequence, which should take right around 10 minutes, I've seen it take somewhere around 5 or upwards of 15. So just be patient with it, depending on the speed of the internet of the homeowner. Once it gets done on screen on the thermostat, it will finish up by just going back to the main screen and it's going to immediately start looking for any connectable devices to start re-establishing the setup of the thermostat. And quickly, I just wanted to show you all what this looks like on your actual application. Once you're done as a technician, it's going to have a long loading screen, same amount of time as the thermostat. And once it gets to the bottom of that loading screen, it is going to pop up a display that's going to show you the new software version of the thermostat. While we finish up, guys, I just want to remind you, here's the three TSA's phone numbers. If you need us, give us a shout. We're always here to help. And the difference between a good technician and a great technician is simply training. Everybody starts somewhere. We understand that here at 2J. Check us out at 2JSupply.com slash 2J University. Sign up for one of our trainings coming up and you won't regret it. Thanks for coming and visiting us today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.